what day is today? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, the 24th. Yesterday was launch day for the new Desire. Hell yeah, it went crazy. Yeah, so I've been up since half eight doing flipping orders <laughs> and uh, literally got like a half hour to like get myself looking decent because we're off to get our teeth. Yeah. Scaled and polished. Scaled and polished because we are hopefully getting our first set of shields today. Is that what they're oh, called? Are we shields? actually getting them today? Though? I think so, yeah. Lex is dubious about whether we're getting them. I think we're just getting scale and polish. No, no, we're definitely getting them. Okay, maybe not Famous definitely, but race. like, I'd say 85% chance that we're getting our um, shields. Are they called shields? Gum mm -hmm. shields, yeah. Well, okay. not gum shield, no. Well, what is it called? Invisalign shield. Yeah. So we're in the car on the way to uh, the dentist. We've left Roxy and Bailey in the kitchen and I'm pretty, again, about 85% sure Bailey is going to pee on the floor because she just... Does anybody want a free, partially used French bulldog? With questionable manners and With questionable behavior manners, problems. The fre frequent vomiting. Yeah, she pukes every time you lift her up. I'm kind of debating whether I should be giving her hugs anymore. She's like, you know one of those things you had as a kid where you tipped it and he observed it went... She like that, but with vomit. Yeah, it's just like... Tipper, just, <laughs> like she was helping me do the orders earlier. I looked over and she just puked on the floor. I was like, that's just delightful. Ten minutes later, she came back and ate it. Oh. I know. She's actually rank. And I know a lot of people have been giving me tips on like how to deal with her and her bad behaviour. Oh, they should do a movie on her. You know, like just bad Santa and bad teacher. They should do like <laughs> bad, bad Frenchie. Frenchie. <laughs> It'll be a pretty boring movie of just her puking and peeing I'll everywhere. I'll tell you that, we try and be nice, not sending them to kennels. But every, people, every person we send them to, to look after them, does not discipline them. Yeah. It just wouldn't run i tell you what she did. I got a message from the dog miner when we were away, saying that Bailey had eaten her Prada handbag. And she's like, I'm pretty sure it was Bailey, because when I came in, she was in her bed with pink lipstick all over her face. Pink lipstick! And all she did was have to sit in her bed. You know, she should have been. Yeah, Lex would have like given her a good. She'd have been put. She'd have. She'd have been put in a cage all morning. You know, like you know, on them. What do you call them? I think the cage is going to be reintroduced. Yeah, to be I honest. think so. It's gonna have to because she's got you know, boundaries need readjusting. Like since she's been home, like she had been when we moved house. She had been peeing on the floor a bit, and I kind of put it down to moving house, and that's what dogs do. Uh, well, Roxy doesn't, but like she's still a puppy. And she's only one. But. Um, she'd stop before we left. Before we left, she'd stop this wheel on the floor, and then she comes back and she's doing it again. So she's been bold. She did one in the living room the other day, like right in front of everyone. She's like cheek, cheek yeah. of it. So um, again, what do they call it? Tough parenting. Yeah. No more nanny state. So um, she's going daddy state. And it's it's hard though because she's so cute. Like she has a really cute little face, but then like you know she's peeing on the floor. It's really annoying. I spent like knows. a good half an hour cleaning the floor yesterday and then she comes and in and pees it's on It's not us. that she doesn't know that it's wrong, so it's not that, but she knows full well it's she wrong. Knows the because she knows because she... you go, she runs to her yeah, bed. Yeah, she runs to her bed and punishes herself because she's just trying to avoid getting a slap. But I always take her out of her a bed. Slap, you sound like a pizza. No, you, you do like a, a smack on the bum. She has a pretty hardy bum, so I give her you a smack. You do two things with dogs. You either tap on the bum or somewhere where they don't because they don't like it, not a smack. Yeah. But you can do this other thing where you like, you, you mimic the bite of a, an alpha dog on the neck. So you oh, just do this and you make the noise. Tsk. I use that quite a lot, it's really good, that noise. So they, they know it's like a negative response, but it mimics the bite of the dog on the neck and that's really effective. But I actually did that one day, she jumped over the wall and I got so mad because it, when she jumps over the wall at the back, it's more that I'm worried about her than she's being naughty. She's being naughty as well, but I worry because I'm thinking, oh my God, she could be gone. So one day I got so mad at her, I actually did bite her neck. Yeah, like a, like a mama dog. I, like, I literally had her in my arms and I, was, I, I didn't know what to do. I was just so mad. So and, I, and there was a woman watching me, so I didn't want her to see me smacking her. Because, you know, people be like, don't yeah. smack your dog. And I don't smack her hard, obviously, look at me. I wouldn't smack her hard. But I did, I bit her on the neck. And she stopped jumping the wall now. I think that bite on the neck helped, so maybe next time she pees on the floor, I'll bite her neck. <laughs> Lex laughed at me at the thought of me biting her neck, but it worked. It just mimics, it mimics the nature, the response yeah. of neck, like Because I am her mum, really. Like yeah. that, she, I'm the only mum she knows. Um, 
but yeah it is all about being the alpha and being in charge and stuff like that with which dogs. you weren't and previously at all where you hadn't alpha yourself no i have now um i think oh i'd love a costa can we get coffee after costa i don't know what's costa there like no i just want coffee um, I don't think I'll get time to go to the gym because I've gotten off-peak membership to my gym which means I have to be in for a quarter past four no, on weekdays. You can add a ten to your thing a month and go any time that month. Really? Yeah. Should have done that. No, you just do it when you go in there, just do it. Oh really? Yeah. Here's it's probably not worth doing it when you've only got like five days a month. Like. Exactly, I've only got, so I might as well just... To be honest, I'm pretty wrecked and um, when I got back from Las Vegas, my normal, my feet did swell, which is a bit on the way over. And I did drink a lot of water, so I don't know what's wrong with me. There's something wrong with my body. It just doesn't like flying. And I, they weren't as bad now as previous. They have been horrifically bad before, and they weren't too okay. bad. It's a so, can you not reverse this? No. Um, so, when I got back, I was 120 pounds the morning after I flew in. And I was like, holy crap, holy, that's seven pounds up. But within a couple of hours that evening, I was 118 that, pounds. Right. By the next morning, I was 117 pounds, and then again, I was down to, um, I was down to 115, and today I was down to 114. So realistically, I've gained a pound in Las Vegas, which was not bad. It's taken me three days to get down to just a pound over what I was. Lex, how much did you gain? Four. Lex gained But four. that was including flight, so I don't know who sent away myself today. I'd say he probably hasn't gained that much. So I'd say you're probably breaking even. Yeah. And then, um, so Lex has a photo shoot next weekend, next week sometime. A video shoot. A video shoot with Gymshark. And um, he wants to look good for that, you know, he wants to look ripped. So after that though, he's going to start his lean gain. Whereas mm -hmm. I'm still seven, 7.5 I'll say weeks out from my next show so I'm still I'm still on track I think I thought I'd have two weeks where I'd have to catch up and I kind of allowed that in my 20 week prep because I normally wouldn't need 20 weeks right. so I allowed for I'm that boss. Screw this. allowed um, 20 weeks for my prep thinking that it'd take me two weeks to recover from flying and traveling but it hasn't realistically taken me two weeks it's taken me three days so that was quite quite good going so i have definitely got um on a head definitely ahead of schedule which is good and i'll catch up with you again when i suppose i'm getting crap one line of doing it extended for you yeah. well, that's two weeks of real time okay so i just play it through i can show some different angles then as well and i can go through the features here in this line as well So that's go from the side as well. So that's how things are at the moment. And so let's go to the ends. And you show from the right hand side as well. Just bring it around to the right to there. So that's currently and that's at the end there. Okay. So if I just show you from the kind of underneath these as well so you get everything then. Um, so that's how things are at the moment. That's how I want to get it to the end. And I'll show the lower side. Well, so that's how things are now. Okay, so nice kind of straight line Um The hardest part with yourself, as we've mentioned kind of last time, is just closing this space between yeah. the front teeth. So for that reason, now we're going to have to put quite a few attachments onto your teeth. So remember that like the white bits thin that go onto your yeah. teeth, just to help the aligners kind of latch onto the uh, onto the teeth. I'll just show you where they're going to go. So they're going to appear it. Oh, then white here. That's fine. So there you go, so on the white there, so you can see where they are. Okay, so you've got quite a few there. All right, top and bottom, so I'm gonna try and bring the top ones down a little bit and the bottom ones up a little bit for you. Um, so there are the attachments there for you. And you've got a little bit of it around the top teeth. I went to like the filing in between the teeth yeah. to create a little bit of room. So where the numbers are there, that represents like 0.2 mm or 0.3 millimeter. And that's where we're gonna take a little bit of tooth away in between the teeth, just yeah. to create a little bit of extra space needed just to bring things together for you and kind of get rid of the crowding that's going on there. So what we'll do, like, we'll do your scan and polish first as well, get that there. This will keep you quiet, because like, I'm going to ask you loads of questions now. Tell you things, so you won't be able to respond. Why, what? 
God, there's a lot of machinery there. <laughs> Oh, you got no guy again, like. That's the worst. Yeah, that's the one. Scary. <laughs> 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 I just scream like someone waiting in there. Stick my head around the door and pretend I'm trying to escape. It's not pleasant, but I was tough, so you have to be. It's not pleasant. Why is it not pleasant? Oh. Fine, but you just look ominous in that bloody hell. It's like a scene from Saw. <laughs> I want to play a little game. Just open the door. It's on the bottom right hand side. It's like got a bit of a break. Just give it a shout, and the uh, light is nice. <laughs> I've never clearly had a proper scale of polish before. You know? You know? Yeah, I don't think I have either. Because that was crazy. <laughs> so doesn't it feel different now. inside your mouth now? Feel the inside of your bottom teeth. Gorgeous. Oh, it's so weird. Isn't it? That's what I say to you. So you can actually feel your teeth now? Yeah. Yeah. Learn that crap that was on my teeth. Oh my god. <laughs> to, to put it on my ear. Yeah. <laughs> Any of you dentists who might watch me, you've never done my teeth or whatever. You're ripping off little merchants. <laughs> Do anything with blasting with like high pressure so you never did any of that. Really? Because I never felt like that. Oh my god. My mouth feels completely different. It was really sensitive. All the way around the bottom. Yeah. Oh, it is. Especially because it's, exactly. like, it's like a, a blanket over the teeth. So that's now removed. So you're only going to find the next couple of weeks as well. Very the teeth will be. Yeah, a new sense of time. It's probably sense of any of those. Really above. Um, just brush twice over that. And so I'm going to talk about brushing in a minute anyway with you. But um, yeah, use those just to get rid of them. Oh my god. Do you hear that, Lex? What should you do? Mm. Get your scale and polish done at the clinic. They give you the option to wander off somewhere else. And don't. That's so different. Uh, that's it. You back <laughs> just one final bit. Next, the polish part. This isn't just, bad. It's just polishing. It's a bit nicer. It's a bit more like a toothbrush. Just get rid of any bits of stain. Crystal minty. First of all, um, I'm just going to play the movie through. So, so this is your teeth as they are oh. currently. Um, so it's a crossbite over here. Um, the difference from yours and mine, can't you? Yeah. So again, I'll just play the movie through initially for you. Okay. So I so say each jump again represents a couple of weeks um, in real time and one line the next thing. So again, you can see there we've managed to correct that on that right hand side. Oh yeah. Jumping over. I'm going to straighten up the front ones as well for you. So again, let's get it on now. Right there. Mm. And then the left hand side. Again, that we just managed to straighten the right thing there for you. Okay. Um, as I mentioned last time, you can just see the wear pattern on your oh, teeth yeah. there. So once obviously everything's aligned, um, we can add a bit of filling just to contour and just put it from that one, especially just to make it look a little bit nice just to finish things. Excessive gum. Yeah, again, don't take too much of that as a kind of gospel there. If you look in the mirror, you can see where the gums have received a little bit. Yeah. These the canines are long the teeth anyway. Okay, um, yeah, I've got a little bit of gum recession, um, partly because of, say, the gum season grinding it much than anything else. So now you'll probably see, you'll see where the gum line is, and say, so good good brushing techniques, that should stay at that level there now. So it doesn't come back. Thing. It doesn't grow back, and these kind of more complex techniques, if you want to grow the gum back, the gum recession isn't so bad as to release yeah. it or anything like that. Because one of our friends, Chris, has just had to have surgery, because mm -hmm. he has such recessive gum line, on yeah. both top from heavy brushing. Right, okay. It's partially, and he had to cut skin from the roof of his mouth and stitch yeah. it. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, Lovato. <laughs> Yeah. Gross. Crazy. Nice. Yeah. Crazy. You won't be doing anything like that for you, Hell no. I'm quite far away from needing that at the moment. Um, I'll just show you as well now to where your attachments are going. So we're getting to the white blobs that have appeared onto there. It's not quite as many as I used to have, but again, there's a fair few onto there for you. And then with yourself as well, a bit of a smoothing and finding between the teeth, whatever you want to call it. Um, so again, you see around the bottom teeth, yeah. quite a bit down there. And you'll notice we've added a little bit around the front ones as well, okay, the front two. So the reason for that, I just turn back to the middle. Um, so at the moment, things are overlapping slightly. Yeah. So your front teeth, you kind of 
in a confined to a shape, more triangular in shape. So you'll find once they straighten out, as such, you'll get a little bit of a gap up here. Okay. Yeah. Um, so in order to just close that as best we can do, we're going to just take away a little bit of tooth here, okay, towards the tip of the tooth, and that will allow that gap to close a little bit more. Um, we'll assess off the end of your aligners how big that gap is and whether you need to do a bit more for you. If you've got that option, you've got to see it if needs be. Um, that's the reason why there's a little bit between those two foot teeth at the top there. That's not looking at it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Obsessed with it. <laughs> yeah, I got a. I'm sure I chipped something once somewhere around here and for weeks I could not mess with it. It might have been a bit of tart that came away. Oh, um, maybe. Rather than the actual tooth. So if you've got a big tart to build up, sometimes you get a little bit clunk, you know, clunk that just chips away and it could have been that. People sometimes oh, mistake it for, for tooth, but it could have yeah, just been like that. For weeks and stop nicking it back, it must have looked like a right simpleton. Just sat on my own bed, licking your teeth. I heard it here first. Lex huh? is a simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Well, if you, if you clock up my things, licking my teeth in public, singing to myself in the gym, talking to myself in the gym, you'll probably serve to find me at some point. You were talking to yourself earlier. I'll be a great grandma. Last night he was talking to himself. He was on the sofa. I kept on saying, what? And I realised he was talking to the laptop. Yeah, well. Did you talk when you sleep? I don't know, do you? No. You do. You used to do like like to Oh, I have, I have, really? like, I have, yeah. like, nightmares, like, terror dreams, where I wake up and, like, Lex is like, it's okay, it's okay, and I'm crying. She usually yeah. hits something happens to the dogs. Yeah. How much sleepwalking? No, my sister used to have serious sleepwalking, where she'd get up and it'd be, like, like, one in the morning, she'd have just gone to bed, and she'd get up and she'd, like, be full in her school uniform, ready to go to school, <laughs> getting her breakfast and everything. And my dad would be sitting reading the paper, and she, he used to just let her. Which was the mean thing. And she'd be <laughs> like, we're going to be late. He's not supposed to wait then, no. Yeah. No. So he used to sit there laughing at her. So to just like, <laughs> walk them back to the bed. <laughs> so it's night time. Yeah, I've seen people like sleep talking and that's creepy enough because you're like, you like know, someone that's like sleep talking, that's weird. Yeah. Full of conversations, don't they? But yeah. yeah, I've not seen anyone sleep walking. But sometimes they're quite funny, like, like oh, the blue smurfs. Like, what are you dreaming about? I think it's oh, funny when we stuff. see our dogs like start going up or, or running or something in their sleep, but they're lying down, so their little legs are going. One of my friends <laughs> said something along the lines of, The whales are gonna get me. <laughs> Just like, What are you dreaming? Where are you? North Pole. Whales are gonna get me. I think we've been watching Attenborough quite a lot. <laughs> Kill the whales, <laughs> working in sequence to get yeah. penguins. Yeah. I you still want to lick your teeth out? Yeah. Me right. too. Not like right there. You're both walking out and licking teeth. Just fine. Yeah. Job done. Job well done. Um, how how oh, sore is it to on. get the... the the attachments or the between the teeth? But both. both. <laughs> the attachments don't hurt to the painless because okay. literally we just put a glue layer on the teeth and the attachments are stuck on. Uh, so that's pretty painless. Neither need any injection whatsoever. The filing bit just feels a bit different. Um, so the best way I can describe it is flossing between your teeth. It's got a bit of a sandpaper edge on it. Um, if you're good though at flossing, your gums are healthy, and you know, if you're good flossing them between now and then, it makes it a hell of a lot easier, a lot more comfortable for the procedure. Mm. So you don't have to be numb, it just feels a bit bizarre. There's a bit of movement between the teeth, and that's it. It's, uh